My name is Zach, I'm an exercise physiologist and strength and conditioning coach at Sydney West Sports Medicine. My name's Jake, I'm a strength and conditioning coach and also a personal trainer. My name is Jordi Taylor, I'm a strength and conditioning coach here at Athletes Authority. My name's Sam, I'm a physio, um, I have a clinic out Western Sydney. Yeah, so I follow Louise's work for a, a very long, uh, long time now. She's worked with some of the best athletes in the world in America. I find there's a bit of a performance gap between what happens in the States and here and find that uh, difference in what makes some of the best athletes in the world the best. It's expectations sort of get a bit more knowledge around the brain and the nervous system and getting drills and cues and sort of take away to bring to my own performance and also my athlete performance as well. Always looking at ways in which we can sort of bring different things to our athletes and guys that we work with um, and just um, seeing a bit of Luis's work and just keen to check it all out. Good uh, refresher on neuroanatomy and those sorts of things as well so just top up my knowledge as much as I can how the, this different style of cognitive training can influence their outcome. Um, that's not just in the weight room or doing recovery or anything like that. It's that 1% that the other athlete next to them is not doing. You learn as much as I can about sort of the testing and how Louisa does what she does. The mental aspect's definitely not looked at as much, so definitely give you that insight and the importance of why it should be a bit of a higher priority and how it will increase um, everyone's performance in that sense. You need to sit down and go through it all to, to map it out properly because there is so much information. And just understanding that on a deeper level um, and then ways to potentially influence that outside of just you know typical training and things like that. The deep dive into the main things like uh, exercise, sleep, um, why that's important and then um, the cherry on top I guess with all the neurocognition that Louisa does. Um, yeah we definitely recommend I think it's always important to try to stay ahead of the curve and keep up with the new stuff coming out whatever that may be. I think it started to sort of open my eyes to um, delving into this space a little bit more how to sort of focus on each part of the brain from a programming standpoint. Are they leaving holes in a program or, or whatever it may be? Yeah, I mean, it's always important to look outside the box, right? Like we get stuck doing the same things over and over again, become a bit of an echo chamber. So looking outside the box for things that can directly influence what you're doing. Um, and that's why this is, is so good. Be on top of it or get left behind.